where we see fancies on Chris. And I'm Kara. Where we have to take care of. This beautiful daughter right here. I forgot the name. <laughs> Apparently she went to Ireland or something. We're so united. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so the European tour, tour as well. Okay, so this is a special blend. It's, I believe, batch one. It's the first blend that Pursuit is doing. They took three small distilleries and it's like aged four to five years. One distillery from Kentucky. That is Bardstown. One distillery from New York. Eating Finger Lakes. Lakes distillery. And one undisclosed dillis distillery in Tennessee. Not Dickel. Not Dickel. So I couldn't even begin to guess. Um, I, I couldn't find the mash bill, but I'm sure if I dug a little deeper, okay. it, it might have listed it so we can maybe narrow down the Tennessee one. But yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't want to go in with preconceived notions. Yeah, because I haven't tried either of those other two distilleries no. before. I've heard of them. I've, I've, I've heard great things about the Finger Lakes distillery. Yeah. On we do have a Bardstown bourbon, but it's a sourced, it's not their own distillate. Yes. So, I'm intrigued. It's, mm, it smells delicious. I've been nosing over here while yeah. you were talking. I get caramel heavy on that. Do you get that right? little, I thought I got okay. honey peanuts for a second, but I lost it. I get honey, but like a honey caramel. Oh, uh, it's, that's, that's nice. Right? Mm -hmm. This is like a traditional. I get a little spice or herbal. herbal. I can't. Yes. Okay. Oh, with the blend. Is this a weird noise? With the blend, yes. one is like a weed. Weeder, right? Oh, that's right. And the the, other one's the like New a high York, rye the and New York Distillery is known the for their weeded mash bill. I think that's it's award winning. Oh, huh. we should try it. I just got something right there and I lost it. This is very. It's familiar but different, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a note that I'm like, what is that? It reminds me of um. You know that light dustiness on WB Saffle, WB Saffle that I like to call dusty a little. I, uh, dusty wood, not dusty corn. corn. Yeah, I get that. Okay. No, I don't get. Is that peanut shell in the mid palate, right in the middle of the nose? I don't taste the peanut shell anywhere. I mean, smell the peanut. It's, okay, I just maybe I'm just getting dustiness. I mean, I, I, what do you get? I get goodness. It's, it's like goodness. Yeah, it's like a. I don't disagree. Honey, caramel, and it kind of like a pastry of some sort. There's something in the middle, and I can't quite place it. It's not I think fruity, we should just but it's like, a, it's like a sweet, inviting, come drink me. But there's something else and I'm just not, I'm gonna go almost on. herbalish. Wow. That is quite, this is oh, like, whoa. if Frankenstein had a child, Cause you get like the herbalness from a rye. Did you get the herbal? Like it's in the mid palate. Like you're just drinking a straight up rye, but then you have the soft sweetness of the wheat. Of the wheat. Right? This is really good. This is bold. This is like is that not Einstein's a bastard's Ooh. child that just came out amazing. Okay. It On is, the first sip. Oh, it's 54 proof. I, it is what? very bold. Uh, is that a, a good just like you know I mean? It's very think, bold without being aggressive. Feel, too overly yes, aggressive. it's not aggressive at all. It has doesn't have like that bite where you're like, oh, I it, wish that was not in the palette. This is no wimp. No, but when you just said that it was 54, it oh, drinks, fine. yeah, mm -hmm. but softer. Not in that, like how you're talking about a harsh. That's spicy up front. Mm -hmm. That's quite spicy, almost, mm -hmm. almost a little pepper. You get that? Definitely the pepper spice in there, but oh yeah, that rye herbalness goes herbal to the end. But it's not but it's like an overpowering herbal. It's surrounded by honey though. But I'm just picking it out, I think, more because you get that other sweeter notes from a wheat with it, and it just strikes me as different. At first, it was odd, but then it, it kind of comes all together to where it's not offensive either way. Not one, not one of them is like a dominant flavor. It feels like a powering. Okay, I'm having a different, a slightly different experience. But I like higher rise, so maybe that's why I'm totally jumping on whatever this mashup Frankenstein is. I like it, but it is no. a little. I wish mm. it didn't stand out quite so much as it does. 
I think the I wheat actually the, stands out more. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel the opposite. I feel like the rye is so aggressive that the wheat is trying to hold it together a little. Either that or the wheat is a little bit more standing out to me, but I don't feel like it's prominent. I think maybe because I, 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 I like rye and wheats. So I'm thinking because it's got that nice sweetness that you are that you associate with the wheat. That's why I'm like, oh yeah. But the mid palette for me is definitely that's where the herbalness of the rice, yeah, where it starts. And in the back end, you I have like the rice spice with the wheat. So it's you it's very it. conflicting, but not in a bad way. I would buy this bottle again. Can I ask how approximately how much it was? MSRP sixty five. Oh, that's not bad. No, I like it, but I think it'll open up for me to love it. Yeah, that'll damp down that uh, that spike right in the foreground. That, Does that make sense? That like herbal we'll, spike or the pepper? Like, it's the pepper. The pepper. Mm -hmm. It's an, it's very pleasant to me. It's a very easy sipper that's got like a punch to it. Yeah, there's a um, pepperness uh -huh. that takes over the mid palate and then ends herbal. It starts sweet, then it goes yeah. pepper. You know, if that pepper, because I don't like too much black pepper even on food, so the fact that it takes over so much in the mid palate, that I wish that would dampen down just a tad. Mm -hmm. It's Here's good, but I don't know if I would grab it often. Okay, I see that. I see that. Depending on what bottle it's sitting next to, and you see something else like, oh, I want some of that, and you're like, oh, you see something else, and you're like, shit, hello, baby. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah, but there. Do you get any fruit on it? It says there's it's fruit, spicy. but. It's peppery in the mid palette. Do you think that's the wheat? Because no, I think it's the rye. I don't normally get that pepper in wheat, but there is that one wheat pick of old elk that we have that it's is super just peppery. super peppery. I think we should revisit that. Yeah, I mean, I, all the other wheaters I've had have been like that sweet, sometimes cinnamon and that soft, red hot, and that soft. You get the lovely softness and cinnamon on the nose yeah. right at the end. Usually pepper it's, is the nose is I think dry. The, my the nose is the favorite my favorite part. It smells really really good. Yeah, it's got a slight herbalness with it, mm -hmm. but it, it smells more of a weed on nice. nose. That soft floral. That's yeah, that softness. I don't. It says they get fruit. I mm, I Fruity? can't taste fruit off of this, but if if someone with a better palate probably could. I mean, I just taste what I taste. Generic fruity in the front, maybe with the honey. Maybe if I eat more fruits, I'd be able to pick out more fruits. Yeah, I mean, my fruit description is like it's dark fruit, right? I like it. It's intriguing. I'm gonna come back to it after some air has gotten in the bottle. See if any of that black pepper note gets um, gets tamed for me, because to for me, it's a little too spicy in the mid palate. It is definitely a mood for i'd have to be in the mood for something that spicy i bet you if you just did a pour let it sit for like a good 10 minutes i bet you when you came revisit it it's so it would be really that's not a bad beautiful idea. oh can we combine this and we'll just let it sit for a while you want to skip your mind? no okay why don't you pour yours in mine it's less to pour okay more for me to drink she'll know i'll forget so she's gonna finish this <laughs> all right well, I'm going to cheers you. I am intrigued on to see how this opens up. I like it how it is. I like the promising yeah. um, nose. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it'll, uh, I think it, it'll be a little less aggressive in maybe a little full oxidation. It, it's, it's how I wish some rise would be for me. So you're happy. I am happy. Nice. Well, cheers. I'm not disappointed. I get to drink you. Don't.